Diminished ovarian reserve, or how many eggs do you have left? Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin M. Johnson, and I'm here once again to provide yet more insight into why small is good. I know what you're thinking. You're already convinced. Okay, but here's more. What do we actually mean when we speak of ovarian reserve? Think of ovarian reserve as a combination of egg supply and egg quality, both metabolically and chromosomally. The two are nearly always correlated. As egg supply decreases, the quality of the remaining eggs is, unfortunately, decreasing as well. Reproductive endocrinologists have long known how to measure and certainly have understood the negative impact of menopause and perimenopause on fertility. Ovarian reserve, however, is a newer idea. Adequately assessing it has become possible only recently and, in our opinion, requires an expert and meticulous ultrasound assessment of ovarian reserve and antral follicle counts, baseline blood work, including an AMH value, and finally, a Clomid challenge test. Ovarian reserve is always declining, correlating very strongly with increasing age. For example, a 20-week-old fetus will have around 10 million eggs, decreasing to about 2 million at birth. By the onset of puberty, about 300 to 400,000 eggs remain. When approximately 25,000 eggs remain in the ovaries, the rate of decline speeds up. This usually happens in the mid-30s, but can occur substantially sooner or later than that. Most of the so-called unexplained infertility diagnoses of the past are, in reality, cases of diminished ovarian reserve when properly assessed. Therefore, just as many couples are making plans to start or grow a family, diminished ovarian reserve begins to accelerate, leading to a decreased ability to recruit and grow follicles. Even with fertility drugs, the eggs do not fertilize as well, the embryos are decreased in quality and do not implant as well, and the ones which do implant are statistically more likely to be abnormal. This leads to a higher risk of miscarriage. With markedly reduced ovarian reserve, the likelihood of a successful ongoing pregnancy becomes remote, meaning less than 5% and potentially less than 1%. Donor eggs and donor embryos then become the best and most effective treatment option. Our goal is to see, assess, and screen women before they reach such an advanced degree of diminished ovarian reserve. With the thorough assessment performed here at ORH, ovarian reserve status is determined. With this knowledge comes empowerment. A diagnosis of diminished ovarian reserve does not mean that a successful outcome with your own eggs can't happen. It does happen all the time here at ORH. The diagnosis of diminished ovarian reserve does imply that the couple should be as aggressive as they can and want to be. With an accurate assessment of ovarian reserve, an individually tailored treatment plan can be designed and implemented. This avoids the waste of time and money that can occur with incomplete or inaccurate diagnoses. In summary, accurate assessment of ovarian reserve status is critical. Only then can the most appropriate and cost-effective treatment plan be identified, leading to the successful outcome we are all looking for. Our ovarian reserve assessment is unparalleled in the Pacific Northwest, and simply put, one more reason that small is good. The results are extraordinary.